This show's pretty high energy today because I've drank two cups of coffee. Two cups of coffee. D-S-L-R. Bill. Noob. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm wearing my glasses today, which means I'm gonna nerd up. Bear with me, this is gonna be a lot of numbers. Anyway, people are always asking me what memory cards they should get. Well, let's go over the memory cards for the T2i. Today I've got a class six, a class four, and a class 10 memory card. These are all the different classes you can get right now. SanDisk has introduced a new super awesome class that's out, but I don't own one yet, and I don't even know if it's on the market. So we'll talk about that later. There's gonna be a lot of cuts in this video because I got a lot of numbers to go over and I don't have them all memorized. The first thing on the agenda is the T2i's data rate. The data rate for the T2i is about 45 megabits per second, which is 5.89 megabytes per second. A class four card is four megabytes per second, a class six is six megabytes per second, and a class 10 is 10 megabytes per second. Now, the other thing to remember is that the T2i has a variable bit rate. So the more motion that's going on, the higher the data rate. So a class four or class six card might keep up while the camera is stationary, but as soon as you start swinging it around, the data rate's gonna go up and you might over exert the card. So I know what you're thinking. I used to use class four cards in my camcorder. How come I can't use them in my T2i? The reason for that is, is because the top of the line consumer camcorders only shoot at 24 megabits per second, which is 3.14 megabytes per second. That's well within the range of a class four card and within the range of a class six card, definitely. Even if you're a Panasonic GH2 or GH1 owner, those have a Kodak that is 24 megabits per second, still 3.14 megabytes per second. So the class four card will work just fine. Now, remember, those are all AVC HD. The Kodak for your Canon T2i and Canon 7D is H.264. So they're different Kodaks and they compress differently. One thing to note is that the class six cards are almost the same price as the class 10 cards. The price difference is maybe two to three dollars. Don't save $3 to get the class six card. Buy the class 10 card. Trust me, it's better. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe. <laughs>